All right, guys, crew main here, and I'm officially losing my mind. I decided to try mining, mining, memeing, mining Pepe coin. Uh, you know, I, I was looking at uh, hashrate.no and T Swift and a few of my uh, other friends in the Center Shoals Discord brought it up, and I said, uh, "I'll check it out." So I looked, and it is the most profitable on everything. Now, obviously, when you go to the website. It is literally says no dev. If you scroll down, it says no dev team. It just talks about how it's uh, a meme coin with the best features, and it doesn't really talk about them at all. So you do the math. That being said, it I mean it's going up a lot. It's gone up 177 percent in the last 24 hours. So do you want to do some degenerate gambling? This is not financial advice. It's not telling me you should or you shouldn't do it. This is me telling you that I was just looking at it and just going from there, essentially. So let me show you what I ended up doing, and then I'll show you how to mine it. And then you can make your decision whether you want to mine this or not, because, I, man, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. One other thing I did want to go over is you can exchange it for USDT at this... Um, this exchange, which I can't pronounce the name of it, and it's not the first time I couldn't pronounce the name of it, because if anybody remembers, I made a video on Nexa when you could only trade to Exbitron, and it worked out okay for me in the end. Um, but, it, you know, it was still a big gamble. So you do have a place to exchange it to. Um, I am mining directly to the Pepe coin wallet, and I will go over that right now. As you can see here, I've got Pepe up here. I have the wallet spun up on a virtual machine. Not a real machine, and this machine is on a different network. I'm just being safe, but so far it seems okay. I had a buddy download. I had some other people I know download it. They didn't see any issues. Obviously, do it at your own risk and do it on a virtual machine, but it's very similar to the Nexa wallet. And then I've got my first rig mining on it. I might put another one on it. I don't know yet. I just want to make this quick video to show you that I've got the one rig on it. It's two 4070s and a 4070 Ti. More on this rig at another date. So let's show you how to mine it. All right, guys, so I want to explain how to set this up. Now, this does assume a few things. If you're looking at mining Pepe, this means you probably mined some other coin super early and basically had to figure it out on the fly. I had a little bit of help, but I mostly figured this out. So hopefully I can save you guys some heart, some headache. All right, so the first thing I want to go over, you have to download the wallet. Again, download it in a Windows machine. I'm sorry, a virtual machine. Uh, you have to generate your own wallet address. Once you get that generated, you're gonna want to set up the. Uh, you're gonna want to set up the coin. You just make a new coin. I literally just typed in Pepe W. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You make your own wallet, um, and then you're gonna have to configure in the miner. You're gonna have to have the latest Hive update. SRB miner. SRB multi is the only miner that supports it as of the f time of filming this video. So once you get this set up. You're going to have to set up the extra parameters. Now, um, I used, I just went on hashrate.no and went for the most populous pool. So mining for people <laughs> is this what all I used. You literally just type in the address right there. Um, and I also looked at hashrate.no. Uh, if you see right here, it also goes over. Uh, let's look at the 4070 Ti. It also kind of showed you how to configure Pepe Pow. So I used that a little bit. You can see right here. I just used mining for people and I just used the server that they had listed. So let's get back to it. Um, and then you can actually see, um, I kind of just figured out my own overclocks. It seems like from what I've been told and I had help from another buddy in the uh, Center Souls Discord. So thank you to him. Um, he said that if you just you use Nexa overclocks as a baseline, which is what I did. Now this is for 40 series only, uh, and I'm also mining Zill because there's no reason not to dual mine. So that's what the worker looks like, and you just start it up and you go. Uh, it does take a little bit to get it spun up, um, and the wallet is a little, can be a little wonky as well. One of the things you might have to do is connect to, on the wallet, uh, I forgot to mention this, but on the wallet, when you go into the console, you want to type and you want to add all these nodes in. Uh, the, the nodes that begin with the 8.27 or .218 
are dev nodes and then the 136 node is a pool node it just helps the wallet go a little faster as was i was told and it's working for me so yeah once you get the flight sheet up all you got to do is spin it up and i mean you just hit go and you start mining i didn't have any issues using these settings again i would base everything off nexa overclocks and then one other thing i i feel like i shouldn't have to mention but i want to say it again guys this is literally a meme coin there's no dev team there's nothing mine this at your own risk mine it on download everything mine it at your own risk use this new exchange at your own risk do this at your own risk if you feel comfortable go ahead i'm doing it and i'm showing you how to do it but that doesn't mean you should do it thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe Crew man and thanks for joining me on this silly meme journey Crew man out